very uncomfortable with that picture right there. I'm not. No one does PDA quite like Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. Okay, well, I ain't mad at that. Y'all ain't mad. But now Lori's dad, Steve Harvey, is dishing on how all that public affection makes him feel. I won't listen to her with social media. I can't participate in it like her. On Tuesday, the 65-year-old comedian makes a stop by the Ellen DeGeneres show. And when Ellen pulls up this pic of his 25-year-old daughter sitting on the Black Panther star's lap, Steve, well, he wasn't feeling it. Look at that, that's happening in front of you? I've never seen that picture before. <laughs> very uncomfortable with that picture right there. I'm not really feeling that picture. And while Steve may not be feeling that picture, he's had a year to get on board with their romance. The couple celebrated their one-year anniversary back in November. I'm trying not to smile so hard right now. And when E.T. sat down with the Just Mercy star last year, he opened up about their love. What does Michael B. Jordan find very sexy? I think a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, the ability to laugh, you know, that infectious yeah. feeling, I think is I think is really, really sexy. So a, a, smile, a nice smile and, and a laugh and a sense of humor is, uh, is, uh, is really sexy to me. Well, I see why you found who you found then, because she has all of those things. All of those things. She's Absolutely. Really, yeah, actually very funny. A lot of people don't know that about is her. Is she? Yeah, yeah, she's really funny, yeah. And things are going so well between them, Michael even spent Christmas with Lori and her fam for the second time. This huh? is his second Christmas with us. Yeah? Is he a good gift giver? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's why I like him. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he bought me this big uh, 100 uh, cigar box of the most, most uh, hard to get cigars, 100 of them in this big box and gave that to me. He gave my wife some skis. Who do that? <laughs> Only way you give your potential mother-in-law some skis is because you want her to be your mother-in-law. So does Michael have Steve's blessing? I think I'm a pretty lovable guy, actually. I'm pulling for him because he's a really good guy, man. Comes from a good family, you know. Uh, so I'm kind of pulling for him, but at the same time, I'm just, I got my eye on him, you know. <laughs> I can't whoop him, but if he ever turn around, I'm gonna knock his ass out. <laughs> that boy be in the gym, man. Like, he yeah. comes in my gym to work out, and I be going like, woo! <laughs> I'm impressed. I wasn't going for, like, the, the ripped boxer look. I kind of wanted to be more, you know, uh, just beefier, heavier, more and more and more intimidating. And all that echoes what the Family Feud host told E.T. back in September. This guy is, is not a representative. He mm -hmm. is genuinely who he, who he looks like he is. I mean, like, it threw me off at first because he was so kind. You know, <laughs> I, I figured, okay, this is the game, right? But it wasn't, man. This dude was sincere. And he's, he's proven to be a really, really good, good guy, man. I mean, look, I'm pulling for him. You know, I'm pulling for them. Also impressive, the surprise birthday party the 34-year-old actor threw for Lori last week. <laughs> and although Michael couldn't attend, he did make sure the skincare entrepreneur was surrounded by her closest girlfriends, including Normani and Ryan Destiny. Super proud of that. Then on Thursday, Lori shared on Instagram that her family threw her a last minute party, which Michael was able to attend. I'm just genuinely excited. He also posted this sweet video on Instagram for Lori's birthday. <laughs> And while that catch was pretty impressive, it's what Michael wrote in the caption that really had fans swooning. Quote, happy B-Day to my turtle, my favorite partner in crime. <laughs>